if you want to use LLM on your own data or on your own website, then H2O GPT is the answer. I cannot really express my gratitude for this great tooling through which you can point these LLMs like Falcon 4TB to your own data. Let me give you a quick demo on it. I'm all uh, right now I'm on their website, which is falcon.h2o.ai and I will put the link to their website in video's description. No sign up required. You can just access this URL in your browser and start checking on it. So as you can see, I'm already there on the top menu tabs, click on data source. Once you are there, then scroll down a bit and then here click on the radio button of my data. Once there, then uh, you can select uh, click here and select your file. So let me select my file. I just uh, selected this database concepts here. Now, once that's done, you can um, go in and then click on add files to scratch my data. Now it will take some time as you can see on the right processing and then it will just go through all of your data. And then if it faces any error, it will put it in the chat exceptions. Or otherwise it will just on the left hand side show you the data source. So wait for it to finish. It won't take long. I, I believe that this is one of the fastest implementation of Falcon 4TB I have seen out there, which is awesome. Okay, so as you can see that data source has been added at the bottom. Now go up and then here you can ask it anything. For example, um, this document, if you see it is about database concepts from Oracle. So let me ask it some Oracle related questions out of this document. Let me ask it a particular question about the background processes, enter or submit. And then it will take a bit of a time and then it should give you an answer. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, it, it's been spot on and uh, it has given me this answer. One thing I guess that I was actually expecting the names of those background processes. So uh, maybe let me ask it instead of whinging about it. Names of background processes. Let's see if it can determine that from the document. And uh, let's go there. How cool is that? You can see that it has given me the names now. So it was not its fault, it was fault. I had to be more um, forthcoming. So this is great. And as you can see, it has also given me the source where it has picked up, which is the document which I gave it to him. So uh, that's it. Uh, let me also show you that there is another option which you can use that instead of giving it your own document, you can simply point it to a website and then ask it to scratch it. So again, um, scroll down a little, and then from here, you should um, just ask it. Let me see where exactly is that. Okay, so data source, and then here, if you scroll down, then select on my data again, then let me give it my own website name. I just gave it a URL, and then add URL content to scratch data. It will start processing it. Let's see how does it work on this source. So the source is here. And now let me give it um, on HTTPS. Wizard.com. And then submit. Processing it. Let's see what it does here. Okay, so it was unable to really find it. Um, okay, let me provide it more context. The source website. 
let's see if it is able to understand what I'm trying to ask. So again, as you can see, it is uh, processing now. Let's see if it is cool. So there you go. So it has found it and now not only it has provided me the list of article, uh, it also has summarized them a bit, which is awesome. Now, um, if I go to com, let me grab a post from there and then let me see if it is um, it can uh, do something about it. So I just grabbed that text. I went back and then um, let me clear it and uh, I'll just show you how you can just simply paste that text. So select data source, go down a little, select my data. And on the, as a third option, you just uh, in this text box, paste your uh, text. And then if you want to add more lines, you can, because if you press enter here, it will start adding text. If you want to enter more lines in this box, just press shift enter. Anyway, this is more than enough. So I'll just say add text to scratch my data and it's processing it then it should add it as a source so it's a user based source and this is cool so tomorrow i'll just ask this to what's the what's the main idea in this text let's see if it's able to detect that source or not Okay, it has at least detected it um, and given us something, which is cool. So you can see that um, by using this page to a GPT, not only you can upload your own documents, you can also point it to your own maybe company's website, or you can simply start adding text and it will work on it. I mean, I, it's really cool, really fast. You know, heads off to the page to a GPT. Uh, and I believe that if you are in the corporate and about to use something like that, um, I would highly suggest going to their website and get some corporate plans for their tooling. Thanks for listening and watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.